What's going on guys, G and Paula here, coming at you with five tips on how to build muscle. If you're watching this channel, you're looking to build some muscle and get in shape, consider subscribing. Here are my five tips. Tip number one, train each muscle group twice a week. The reason why you should train each muscle group twice a week is because protein synthesis only lasts after 36 hours. So once protein synthesis drops, muscle growth stops. That means that you should be hitting major muscle groups twice a week like your back, your chest, and your legs. Personally, what I usually do is I would have a heavy day and a hypertrophy day. Say for instance, I'm trying to grow my chest. Um, I would be training chest twice a week. I would have one heavy chest day and one hypertrophy focused chest day. And the reason for that is to optimize muscle growth. So one heavy chest day, I would be focusing on lower reps and heavier weight just to stimulate the muscle growth um, through heavy resistance training. And on my hypertrophy focus day, I would be focusing on eight to 12 reps to optimize muscle growth in my chest. The reason why this is my number one tip is because you can't expect to grow a muscle group just by training them once a week. If you're a natural bodybuilder or you're a natural weightlifter and you're not taking any steroids, then I really, really, truly believe that you should be training each muscle group two to three times a week to optimize muscle growth in your body as well as to improve your physique. All right, guys, my second tip, increase in protein intake. The reason why I say this is that ACSM, or American Sports Council of Medicine, recommends that a person that is weightlifting or getting into a resistance training program or a workout program um, should be consuming about 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. And for example, I'm a 160 pound male, I would be consuming from 140 to 160 grams of protein per day. Um, and that would be adequate amount of protein for me to increase muscle growth as well as optimize muscle growth in my body. Now, some of you guys may have trouble getting your protein intake or you know, hitting the amount of protein that you should be intaking throughout the day um, because of, you know, um, sometimes you're busy, sometimes you have work, sometimes you don't have enough time to pack your meals and everything. Um, for me especially, I get most of my protein from eggs, chicken, beef, fish, uh, nuts, and obviously there are times where I'm gonna go to the grocery store and buy a protein powder or stop by in the convenience store and get a protein bar um, post-workout or pre-workout. It all really depends on you and um, what you prefer and what is most convenient for you. So my tip number three is adequate amount of sleep. And that means you should be getting about seven to eight hours of sleep every day. The reason why I say this is because um, you need to give yourself some time, especially when you're putting, you know, all the stress in your body to build that muscle, you need to give yourself some time to rest. Um, adequate amount of rest, seven to eight hours of sleep, no more, no less. Um, the reason why I say this is because less than seven hours of sleep or more than eight hours of sleep um, daily could also lead to um, increase in cortisol levels, which also means that it could also, you know, add stress to your body. And these are the unwanted stress that we want to stay away from, which could also lead to weight gain in some circumstances. So we definitely want to steer away from that. Seven to eight hours of sleep is optimal for muscle growth. Tip number four, proper form. Now, obviously, it's already a given that any exercise that you should be doing at the gym should be done in proper form but I really, really wanna put a huge emphasis on this. I see a lot of people at the gym that are performing different types of exercises with wrong form. And sometimes they're not even aware of it. They're not even aware that they're hitting the joints instead of the muscles. It's very important that you should be training with proper form because because let's admit it, you don't just want to look good. You want to feel stronger, you want to feel healthier. And because when you're doing the proper form, you're hitting the right muscle groups that's supposed to be hit. You're not adding any stress to different types of joints that are not supposed to be hit within that type of exercise. Obviously, the number one benefit of proper form is injury prevention, right? Like I said, guys, fitness is all about longevity. You want to be as healthy as possible for the longest amount of time. Um, you want to avoid injuries because injuries, guys, I've had injuries before. Um, I've torn my meniscus before. I have rotator cuff injuries and they're the worst. Like they will set you back in terms of your fitness goals months ahead. And you know, you got to slowly get back 
to 100% recovery and then you can start getting stronger again and then you can start building muscle again. It just sucks. So fourth tip is very important guys. Make sure that you're researching proper form whenever you perform a certain type of exercise or maybe have somebody knowledgeable um, there to guide you or show you the proper form of different types of exercises. Um, I'm going to be covering proper form of different types of exercises that are most commonly done at the gym in my future video. So I really, really want you guys to stay tuned for that. Um, so don't ever forget any time that you're doing an exercise, make sure that it's done in proper form. If you're unsure with the proper form of an exercise or if you're uncomfortable with performing a certain exercise because you don't know the proper form of it, research it. Have somebody knowledgeable to guide you, have somebody knowledgeable to assist you with the proper form of the exercise or you know have somebody watch you um you know perform this exercise but number one thing as a fitness influencer and a natural bodybuilder that i really really want you guys to stay away from is injury because it sets you back so many months ahead of your fitness goals um, and you don't want to have that. It's a huge impediment with your fitness goals and you definitely want to stay away from that. The last tip of the day guys is stay consistent. I can't stress enough how um, staying consistent at the gym will help you um, gain muscle. The reason why I say this is because you can't just work out for two weeks straight, take a week off and then get back in another week and you know expect the same results that you're having because you need to constantly put stress in your muscles in order for them to grow. And that's where progressive overload comes in guys, adding volume, adding frequency um, to your training, adding resistance into your training, um, slowing down the exercise, slowing down the movement of the exercise could all result in progressive overload. And adding these different types of stress to your muscles so that it continuously adapts to the stress will optimize the muscle growth in your muscles, guys. So that is also a very important tip. So stay consistent at the gym, concretize a plan that keep yourself accountable for the gym, and you know, stay consistent, guys. Um, I guarantee you guys that you follow all these five tips and you will build some muscle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, those are my five tips on how to build muscle. If you learned something out of this video, give it a like, comment down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more videos. Again, thank you guys for watching. Stay motivated, stay consistent, keep chasing those gains, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Open up, I yeah. sold my soul a good price out of sight. My whole got talent.